Hola mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alexandra and I would love for you to join the family. All right guys, so today's video is all about Valentine's Day, the lover's holiday, right? And today I decided to show you guys what I would be wearing for Valentine's Day, a cute Valentine's Day look that isn't too much that's wearable. And I decided to do just use all drugstore makeup to make it affordable. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna start off with the NYX High Glass Face Primer in Rose Quartz to hydrate the face. Just because lately my face has been, let's say, dry. Everything basically has been dry except my T zone. I'm just applying that all over the face. All right. And I already did my brows, guys. Today I used the Revolution Brow Pomade in dark brown. Just because I ran out of my favorite brow pencil, which is the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Okay. And for the T-Zone, I'm going to use the Poreless Putty Primer towards the center of the face like I am doing just now. And applying it with my finger, just really pressing it in. And then I'm just applying it onto the nose. All right. Also guys, if you hear like any footsteps, just know it's my nieces upstairs. All right, now that we have primed the face, now it's time for some foundation. For foundation, the drugstore foundation that I have been loving is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. And I use 75 Natural Beige. So I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take my blender and just apply it to the face. And guys, I really like this foundation because it kind of hides my texture in my skin. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And I'm doing my chin. Just look at how smooth that goes onto the skin. Now I'm going to do my nose. And I'm starting to get really good into the side of the nose. Same thing on the other side. Now I'm just going to do my forehead. And on the forehead, I really don't need that much coverage because I barely have any acne or scars on there. It's like the smoothest part of my face. And let's not forget the temples. Okay. Now I'm just gonna use both whatever is left on my the back of my hand. I'm just going to add coverage where I need it, which is the cheek area. Same thing on this cheek, her chin, and on the nose. All right, now that everything is blended, now it's time for concealer. Okay, so cons for concealer, I chose Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer just because it gives me so much coverage and doesn't make me look dry. And I definitely want to conceal those under circles. And don't forget, it's super affordable. I think it's like five or six dollars. So I'm just gonna put that under the eye. And then same thing on the other side. And in this, I use light beige. And then I'm just gonna take a little flat brush and do the middle of my nose. And then dot right in the middle. And then the reason why I just did a dot and then a line towards the middle of the nose is because I find that when do a smaller line on the nose, your nose looks more snatched. Okay, and then now I'm just blending the concealer, really pressing it into the skin, and then blending it out. And then I'm gonna do the other side, doing the exact same thing, and then blending the nose. And then with whatever's left, I'm just gonna put some on the forehead, the chin, all right, now I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder in medium. Now I did want to use my Milani Chisels of Banana Powder, but I literally ran out, like literally, there's nothing. So 
Now I have to use the other powder I have, which is the e.l.f. one. I do like it, but it does make you feel more matte. So right now, what I'm going to do is blend out any creases that may have happened. And blend those out. And then I'm going to take my Tati Blendable and just set the face, well, the under eye area with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. Just really pressing that in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take out any creases that may have occurred. And then take the powder and just press it in to the under eye area. Alright. And now I'm just going to set the rest of the face with that powder. Or you know what? I'm just going to set where I'm going to apply bronzer. Just because I want the rest of the face to still look Fresh. So I'm just gonna apply this powder and really set it. The foundation where I'm gonna apply basically blush and bronzer so that it could blend easier into the skin. Right here on the temples and then the forehead, just a little bit. Cause we wanna glow, you know what I mean? the center of the nose because that's where I get oily and because we are gonna snatch the nose up with bronzer and on the sides of my mouth because that's where I crease okay now I'm just gonna apply some concealer to my eyelid area and then blend it out with my blender same thing on the other side. All right, now same thing. Let's set it with the elf powder. Really quickly. Same thing on the other side. All right, now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. So for powder, I decided to choose the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. And I just thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I mean, look at the pinks in here. You have very wearable colors in eyeshadow colors. And it's affordable. ColourPop is not really a drugstore brand, but they are super affordable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Dream Maker, which is this one right here. It's like light pink. I was going to use Catch Me but it's too light. I feel like it will barely show up on my skin tone. So I decided to go in with Dream Maker for my transition shade. So what I'm going to do is take my Morphe M441 and go into my crease, just like this. And then I'm just going to blend it up towards the brow. All the way, just like this and then I'm going to just take that color and pack it into the outer corner of the eye okay then I'm just gonna make the shape I want the eye to be which for me is always an upward shape and then I'm just gonna fill in that color and then fill in that little gap then with whatever is left I'm taking it towards my crease and just really bending everything out towards the brow okay now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side taking dream maker putting that into the crease and then blending it upwards towards the brow and then hitting the outer corner now I'm just gonna make the shape I want the eye to be and then I'm just going to fill in that gap and then blend towards the brow, just like that. Now we're going to go in with a little bit of a deeper shade. I'm going to go in with ICYMI, which is right here. And I'm going to switch to my Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to take just a little bit of it and pack it onto my outer corner just like that and then 
Take the shape I want the eye to be. And then bring it to the front of the crease. Then blend it in just a little bit. Not too much. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just taking that color very slightly. Packing that into the outer corner of the eye. And then with whatever's left on the brush, making the shape I want the eye to be. And I'm not picking up more color because I don't want it to be too harsh. Now whatever's left, I'm taking that to the front into my crease. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my Morphe M441 and just blend everything out, whatever's left on the brush. Just like that. Now it's time for the glitter shades or the metallic shades. And because I don't want to do too much, right? So I'm gonna do side to side, which is like a nice, nice little metallic shade right here. Okay, and now for the glitter, I'm gonna take a flat little brush right here, just like this. This one's from my Kylie collection, her holiday collection. And I'm gonna take side to side, really get it on there, and just put it into my little crease. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna put some spray on them, on the brush, to make it easier to apply. Now I'm just gonna take my pinky, and really get the amount of pigment I want. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Taking that brush. And that into the crease. Alright. Now that we're done with that. Now it's time to go into the under eye area. For that I'm going to take my flat Kylie brush from Kylie. And I'm just gonna take Dream Maker and run it across the lower lash line. Just like we're doing so right now. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of that darker shade that we used before. Just do the outer third of the eye. Just like that. The same thing on the other side. Running Dream Maker, which is our first shade. Cross the lower lash line and I'm taking darker color connecting the top to the bottom now just to finish up this eyeshadow look I'm going to take my Morphe M433 and I'm going to take that darker color one more time and hit the outer corner of the eye Just so we don't lose it. Right? And now we can move on to the complexion. Okay, so first I'm gonna take my uh, powder, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, and then wipe off any glitter that may have fallen on the face. And then now we could go into bronzer. So my drugstore bronzer I'm going to use is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Everybody loves this bronzer. And I'm going to take my Morphe Y4 and swirl the bronzer on there. And just smile. And apply it to my cheeks, just like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Smiling. And I'm just applying it to my cheeks. Alright, and then I'm just going to apply it to the temples. To blend everything in. On both sides. And then I'm going to hit the forehead. Just a tiny bit. Okay, now I'm just going to contour my nose really quickly. All right, now it's time to apply some blush. For that, I'm gonna go for my Milani blush in Rosa de Oro. 
I'm just gonna take my brush from the Kylie collection. I'm gonna take the blush and smell. And apply it to my cheeks. And I'm just gonna do this on both sides. Just smile and then bring it up. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and really blend the blush just in case I went a little too heavy handed. Now it is time for highlight and my favorite highlight or one of my favorite highlights is between the Physicians Formula and the Maybelline Master Chrome. Today I'm going to go with the Maybelline Master Chrome just because I feel like I've been using um, the Physicians Formula a lot. So I'm just going to take my Morphe G17, get some on there and then just Apply it. Do the same thing on the other side. Right? Now I'm just going to do the center of my nose. Just like that. And then the center, the bridge basically, and then a little here above the brow. Alright. And now I'm going to do some lips. Now for lips, I just want to keep it simple. Now this is the only thing that I don't have drugstore guys, I really try. And it was my Kylie Slept On Lip Gloss. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we have come to the end of this video. My lashes are on. And this is my Valentine's Day look for you guys. I hope this is wearable, natural enough. And I hope you guys liked it. The only thing I have to do is set my face. And I'm going to set it with my Morphe setting spray. Alright. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Alright. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.